Hi guys, good morning. Happy New Year. It's a beautiful year. Welcome back. Hope you are doing well for yourself. Today, I want to quickly show you a beauty routine you should add to your daily life, to your daily living, okay? This is what we do here. So right now, I'm going to be showing you how I wash my face in the morning or whenever I took my bath, okay? I don't normally sponge my face. Unless on a day I want to do scrubbing, I do scrubbing like two times, sometimes in a week or three times maximum. Okay, so this is it. So I normally wash with this white hanky. This is a white towel. I managed to customize it to a swable pattern like this so that it is for me to wash, you know, to easily scrub because when I'm washing, I wash in cycle motion. That aids me to wash properly. So I make use of this whenever I'm washing. And again, when you're washing, you should have a mirror in there, yeah? You don't know the essence of having a mirror in your bathroom. That's what I'm gonna tell you right now. A mirror in your bathroom aids you to have a proper bath, even in your rushing hour. You know, the world is so busy today that everybody's just busy, busy, busy. In the morning, you've, you barely have time to wash properly, like take a proper bath. Okay, so that's the essence of having a mirror. A mirror will aid you to know when you are washing it right. Probably you are washing even when you are doing it quickly. You'll be looking at the mirror and you'll be doing it well. Okay, you wash properly, you sponge properly, you even brush properly. That's the essence of having a mirror in your bathroom or near your washing basin. It's not for fancy. Okay, so this I'm doing right today. This is how I wash. For those of us that have black spots, pimples, that have refused to go, <laughs> let me tell you, you may be the reason why that pimple has refused to go because our skins are not the same. That's exactly the point. Our skins are not the same. That is what you should understand. Some skins are more delicate than others. So applying too much products in a quest to to get solution for your pimples and black spots may even worsen the situation. That's the truth, okay? So today, I wanna to show you how I do this. I'm not a product applier type, <laughs> if that word exists. I'm not the type that apply to, to frequent product on my face, okay? I like going natural. All I do is, I use my bathing soap and this whenever i'm treating my face i make sure i wash my face in the morning if i'm not quick to take a bath i try as as much as possible as i can to wash my face first thing in the morning with a towel and my soap and when i wash i wash in cyclone motion try this out and when you do you do it in cyclone motion you will see the dead that comes out from your face compared to when you wash with ordinary soap okay so this is how i do the washing i do this and I do this with a mirror. It helps me to wash every part that needs to be washed, okay? And when I'm done doing this, if it's in the morning, I leave my face to breathe, okay? To take in some fresh air. But if it's night, I apply my cream. Yeah, I don't have special cream for face and for body. I use the same cream, okay? So when I'm done doing this, I apply my cream and I go to bed. So that's it. All right, so again, after this, let me show you what it looks like after now. Now this is it. This is the towel I used to wash my face. My face is a bit dirty, you know, as much as I bath in the night and applied my cream. So when I'm done doing this, I'm gonna be washing off with water. I'm doing this out of the bathroom because the lightning there is not that bright. So this is it. All right, and this is it. Can you see? Spot the glow. It's just that, okay? You don't need to apply all the products in the world to get a smooth face. If you add this to your daily routine, the pimples, the black spots are gonna fade out on their own, trust me. Try this routine, add it to your daily routine. Something you can quickly do when you're taking a bath, just make sure you wash it a good soft towel like this a hand towel it doesn't cost much it's a very affordable thing you can use or you can use about the one i showed you 
And if you don't have that money, that small money, you can equally look for a clue that has a shoulder pad, like a shoulder pad here. Yeah, I can detach the shoulder pad and wash it properly. Then you can use it to wash your face. Okay, just make sure it's something soft, it's soft, okay, but not too soft that can clean away the dirt. Then you wash with water. Don't forget to add soap to it. Now, again, the second thing I do is I make use of scrub okay and making use of scrub is one thing using it properly is another most of us complain that when we use scrub we have rashes or it tends to increase the volume of the blackouts like the pimples it's a no it's because you are using it the wrong way okay so how do you scrub when you want to scrub all you need to do is when you get your scrub I normally keep this in my bathroom because I don't want to be forgetting my routine okay as well this I don't keep it inside I kept them I leave them after bath in the bathroom I hang them somewhere to bath to dry okay so that's that now this is the scrub I don't want to scrub because I already washed my face but I'm gonna be showing you what you need to do when you're scrubbing when you want to scrub all you need to do is touch a little water then Take some generous amount of scrub and apply it to your face. Don't make your face to be too dry when you want to scrub, okay? Let it be a little bit wet, right? So when you apply a generous amount of scrub, some scrubs you can use all over your body. I don't use scrub all over my body sometimes. I do sometimes, okay? So this is what I do, but I maintain the neck area. I make sure I scrub my neck area very well. So when I want to scrub, after applying generous amount, I use my palm hair this very place to scrub in cyclone motion I don't scrub that no in cyclone motion in a soft way okay but a little bit with a little bit of um, force okay so that's it when I'm done scrubbing for like five minutes I can still leave the scrub there for another few minutes I scrub again before I take my bath so I do that firstly before batting so when I'm done scrubbing I leave the scrub on my face and take my bath then when I'm done taking my bath I wash off the scrub okay that's that so please in this year you want to glue you want to have a flawless face if for your skin number one thing is take a proper bath and the proper baths you want to take try to have a mirror a mirror it's you to know the areas you've washed how well you wash them and the areas you used to wash even when you are rushing out it makes it faster for you and again it helps you to brush you know the areas you didn't brush well and the places you are yet to brush and when you are getting it right when you are brushing it right and again a mirror helps you to bath even more faster than you can imagine so that's it if you have a mirror in your bathroom it's not for fancy if you don't have get one is affordable you can afford that okay that's that so thank you for watching stick